The flying in a tie today really comes into its own in the fall when the cedar bugs are flying around, falling in the water, and the trout are keying on them. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a size 10 Mustad 531 dry fly. We'll tie with some UTC 70 black thread. We'll use some natural deer hair for the tail, some peacock curl for the body, and some natural deer hair for the back and wing. First step to the fly is to get a good base layer of thread built up because you don't want that deer hair slipping on the hook. I've now taken a small portion of deer hair and we're going to tie this in for the tail. I've actually stacked it. I'm going to cut it and tie in a nice bushy tail and make it about half the length of the hook. Now I've stacked another portion of deer hair. We're going to tie it in and you want this, you want to measure it up so it's at least as long as the body because you want this to be tied in for the back and for the wing later. So we're going to tie this in at the very back of the hook. Now the big key to the MFB is making sure you take at least six strands of peacock curl. And we're going to tie this in and you want this body to be big and fat. That's the whole idea of the fly, just keep this body really big and fat. So we're going to tie in the peacock curl and then wrap in a nice big fat body. Now that we have the body tied in, I'm going to take all my deer hair forward that I've tied in for the back and wing. Pull it forward, just wrap over lightly on it, and then pull down just to flare the wing out. And then tie in front of the wing to make it stand upright. To finish the fly off, I'm taking my whip finisher, and I'm just going to whip finish in front of the wing, behind the eyelet. And there it is, the finished MFB. And you know what? We'll leave it up to you to figure out what the MFB stands for.